Have you ever wondered how concentrates are made? What's up guys? I'm Corey from iAspire and today I'm here to tell you. There's two main types of extract. They use different processes to strip the resin from the plant. The first is solvent based and that includes your BHO and CO2 oil. And the other type is solvent less and that includes dry sift hash, ice water hash and rosin. The most popular types for dabbing are definitely BHO and rosin. People have been making hash for thousands of years. The technology's definitely come a long way since people first started making it. Today I'm gonna to tell you a little bit about how it's made, the different methods and types of extraction. The most popular type of extraction that almost everybody's heard of is uh, BHO or butane hash oil. Butane hash oil is uh, full of terpenes. It creates a nice golden color. And because butane can be purged at, at such a low temperature, you maintain a lot of the flavor profile of the plants. We also have CO2 oil. CO2 oil is made using supercritical CO2. One of the primary differences between CO2 oil and butane oil is that to capture the terpenes, they actually need to do a separate fraction with CO2 oil. So if you're ever using a CO2 product that has what they call full spectrum, They've removed the terpenes from that and added them in at a later stage. Next, I'm going to tell you about some of the solventless hash types. The first and most basic type is dry sift hash. This uses a sieve and plant material. They shake that and the resin, the trichomes fall onto a surface. They pull that together and that's dry sift hash. Very simple. Another popular form of solventless hash is ice water hash or bubble hash. Uh, this is created by placing your plant material into uh, a bag or a screen and dipping it in ice water and uh, oscillating it or gyrating it. This makes the trichomes fall through the water and through the uh, bubble bag into the bottom of the water. The water is then filtered out and the material is dried, creating ice water hash. One of the newest types of hash available is rosin. There's a few types of rosin. There is flower rosin, there is hash rosin, and there is live rosin. So rosin is essentially a process that uses heat and pressure to squeeze the plant material to uh, remove the resin and isolate the resin. Plant resin is the simplest type. It starts with the flower. You then apply heat and pressure to remove the resin from the plant. The next most popular type is hash rosin. With hash rosin, you create a puck using bubble hash or dry sift hash, and then the same process of heat and pressure is applied to remove the resin from the plant material. One of the newest and, in my opinion, most desirable forms of rosin is live rosin. Live rosin is created by uh, fresh freezing the plant material. This means that the plant is not dried when it's frozen. They then press this whole plant material to extract the resin. It maintains the best flavor profile and the most terpenes out of any of the hashes. Do you know the difference between crumble and batter? Hi, I'm Corey with iSpire and today I'm here to tell you. So here we have some crumble and some batter or butter. The main difference between these two is the texture. So crumble, as you can imagine from the name, tends to crumble. When you stick your tool in it, it'll fall apart. It's a little more crystallized. Batter or butter is a little more soft and easier to handle. It'll scoop real easy with your tool. Both of these concentrates are made from BHO. The difference between these and your typical shatter is that during the purging process, these are removed and actually agitated or whipped. The texture that you see is actually produced by the oxygen molecules interacting during the purging process. Come on. What's the difference between live resin and live rosin? What's up? I'm Corey with iSpire and today I'm here to tell you. So here I have a sample of live rosin and live resin. Both of these start with fresh frozen plant material. This means that the plant is cut down and thrown into a deep freezer immediately to preserve its terpene profile. The plant's not dried. The rosin then is pressed with pressure and a little bit of heat to remove the resin. The live resin is extracted using butane as an extraction method. The butane is later purged and you're left with this beautiful live resin. Here I have live rosin comparing it to live resin. Both of these uh, extracts start with fresh frozen plant material. This means that the plant is cut down and immediately thrown into a deep freezer to preserve the terpene profile. The rosin uses pressure and heat to extract the cannabinoids. 
The resin, the live resin, uses butane as the extraction method. Can you tell the difference between diamonds and sauce? I can. What's up guys, it's Corey with iSpire, and today I'm here to tell you. Here I have some diamonds and some sauce. Both of these were extracted using butane. The main difference here is that the sauce has diamonds in it, but it also has a very terpy sauce. These products are both created using a finishing method that involves pressure to precipitate the diamonds out of the extract. The diamonds typically will be filtered to remove any of the excess terps and sauce so that it's more dry. Whereas the sauce here, as the name would imply, is sitting in a very gooey, very terpy sauce. You ever wonder, what am I really dabbing? What's up guys, it's Corey with iSpire and today I'm here to tell you about the different types of concentrates. Have you ever seen a bunch of different concentrates and wondered how you might be able to identify them? Today I've got some crumble, some batter, some sugar, and some sauce. Now all of these extracts come from butane. They're all butane hash oil. They look very different, but they were extracted the same way. Really what differentiates them is the way that they're finished. Crumble is a little more uh, airy. The reason that is, is because it is more airy. Uh, during the purging process, it's removed and agitated or whipped. So you get this kind of foamy, soft texture that crumbles really easily. Batter goes through a similar process. It's less agitated and it uses a higher heat to actually melt it down a little more. It's a little more oily uh, than your crumbles. Next we have sugar. A sugar uses a process of finishing that applies pressure by putting it in a jar, sometimes called jar tech. The same thing with your sauce and diamonds here. The only real difference between the sauce and the sugar is the size of your crystals. THCA is actually the form of THC that you find in a plant. If you want to activate that THC, you need to decarboxylate it, which is a fancy word for adding heat. This is what you see in your vape pen. So when you have THCA, it actually takes a crystalline form when you add pressure. This is how they make sugar and sauce and diamonds, by adding pressure. The THCA actually forms a crystalline structure. The only real difference in these two is the size of the crystals. For many, butane hash oil is the end-all be-all. There's a number of reasons for this. Butane tends to preserve the terpene profile the best. The reason for this is because after the butane pulls the cannabinoids from the plant, it can be purged at a low temperature. Purging is a fancy way for saying evaporated or removed. So since you're able to keep this low temperature while you're doing the purge, you don't burn off as many of the terpenes. Terpenes also have a very low boiling point, so keeping the extraction process cold throughout really helps to preserve the whole flavor profile of the plant. That's why most people prefer butane. 